Hey guys, Mike here from SimpleNursing.com. Today we're going to be talking about your nervous system. Basically broken up into your central nervous system and your peripheral nervous system. And we're going to be talking about your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. Pretty much the drugs that influence these guys. So let's do it here. So as you can see my chart here, your nervous system, the big head honcho that goes up top, basically broken down into two categories. Your central nervous system and your peripheral nervous system. So guys, central nervous system is usually just your spine and your brain. Uh, it just does all the automatic things that your uh, central nervous system uh, just takes care of. Your um, peripheral nervous system has more influence on, in terms of the main drugs that we give your body in terms of a therapeutic response. So, for your SNS, your sympathetic nervous system, and your PNS, your parasympathetic nervous system, pretty much just acts like a teeter-totter. If one's on, then the other one's off. If one's off, then the other one's on. And that's really how your drugs that we give in the hospital really work. So let's go into it and describe what does what. So in your peripheral nervous system, you have your sympathetic nervous system, which is your fight and flight response. Now fight and flight, we remember this by if a bear is chasing you and you're like, oh snap, that's your sympathetic nervous system because you're running and really, what main organs do you really need if you're going to be running from a bear? Or if you stay and you're like a dummy and you fight the bear. What main organs do you really need to fight or flight? You really need only two organs working at that time. You really only need your lungs to breathe deeper if you're going to run. And you really only need your heart to pump faster because you need to get more oxygen around to um, oxygenate those muscles. So, we can put right here, influences your heart and your lungs here. It also influences your brain too, because um, you need to think clearer if you're going to be fighting or running. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum, if you're fighting or running, what are the least things that your body needs if you're going to be fighting and running? Do you really need to be digesting as you're running? Not really. That's not a really main priority. So that falls under the other spectrum, your peripheral, I'm sorry, your parasympathetic nervous system. So this is your rest and digest. So we can draw a GI tract here. We can also draw your kidneys because if you're going to be running from a bear, do you really need to be actively producing urine? Not really. Um, all the blood, that oxygen rich blood needs to go to that heart and lungs if you're going to be fighting or running. So if you're in a rest and digest, switch the scenario. So let's say we turn the um, parasympathetic nervous system on. Let's say you're in Cancun and you're chilling out underneath a uh, hammock. And under the hammock, underneath the cabana, sorry. That'd be kind of weird if you're in a hammock. Huh? And let's say you're chilling out underneath the cabana and here's your a uh, little palm tree. At that time, do you really need your heart racing? Do you really need a lot of oxygen if you're just chilling out, if you're just relaxing, if you're resting and digesting? Do you really need your heart to be pumping and your lungs to be working all that greatly? The answer is no. So when you're resting and digesting, other more less important organs that sustain life can be activated. So for instance, your GI system actively making um, poop or feces. And that's how I remember your PNS, your parasympathetic nervous system, because it's your poop nervous system kind of. It, uh, <laughs> it does all of the other activities that your body is necessary, but it's not as necessary if you're fighting or flighting. So you're digesting, you're creating urine, uh, all the blood is going out 
uh, to the extremities, and um, that's what you're doing when you're resting and digesting. So in this next video, I'm going to be talking about which kind of drugs influence your sympathetic nervous system, and what the heck is a parasympathomimetic and a sympathomimetic and an adrenergic and an antagonist or an anti-adrenergic receptor. So please watch that video. We're going to be going into it right now.